This is Dominique from New York, New York. After the king hit 40,000 points, does he move up on your all-time list? Before 40,000 points, I had LeBron ninth on my all-time list. After 40,000 points, I still have LeBron ninth on my all-time list because playing longer does not make you better or more valuable. I'm sorry. LeBron James is not better than Larry Bird, who I have at eight, one notch ahead of him. LeBron James is not better than Kobe Bryant, who I have at seven, two notches above LeBron. Both Bird and Kobe were much better shooters and much, much better clutch closers than LeBron has been low these many 21 years. LeBron James is not more valuable than the big men I have in my next four positions on my top 10 list. Six is Mr. Russell, as in Bill Russell. Five is Tim Duncan of my San Antonio Spurs. Four is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, whose all-time points record, of course, LeBron broke. And three is Shaquille O'Neal, who was simply the most dominating force for about three years on a basketball court I ever saw, both on offense and defense. LeBron has never been the leader or the winner that Magic Johnson was from day one, dating back to the NCAA Finals I covered in Salt Lake City in 1979, Magic versus Bird in the finals. No, LeBron has never been Magic. Magic is at number two on my list. And I'm so sorry, blind witnesses, but LeBron has never been Jordan. I have Jordan at one, where he obviously belongs. Michael Jordan won 10 scoring titles to LeBron's one. Michael Jordan won a Defensive Player of the Year award, and as good as LeBron used to be on defense and can be when he picks his spots from night to night, he was never a Defensive Player of the Year. As I'm sure you know, blind witnesses, Michael Jordan was 6-0 and in NBA Finals with six MVPs. While LeBron has as many Finals losses, six, as Michael had victories, six. And please don't give me quality of competition. Because all those years through the Eastern Conference... LeBron had a cakewalk to those finals, a cakewalk through the East that he owned. And don't get me started on LeBron's last quote-unquote championship one in that bubble where so many teams just wanted to go home stuck in that bubble. It was a bubble issues championship that deserves an asterisk, so don't get me started on that. And you want me to elevate LeBron in my all-time top 10 above Larry Bird, one of the great closers in the history of basketball, and Kobe Bryant? Don't mess with him late in games. Mamba? Seriously? No, I'm not going to do it. Magic? Jordan? No, no. I'm sorry, 40,000 is 40,000. All-time legit, excuse me, longevity achievement. But just playing longer doesn't make you more valuable. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.